two teams that have their quarterback are the Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow, and the L.A. Chargers, and Justin Herbert. Now, these two quarterbacks will always be tied to one another because they were drafted in the same draft class. Burrow, the first pick. Herbert, the sixth pick. Should have been the fifth pick, but neither here or there. Should have been the first pick. Okay. <laughs> Justin Herbert versus Joe Burrow. We're revisiting this debate. Who are you taking? Joe Shiesty, Joe oh, Burr, Shiesty. Joe Burr, Joe Burr, <laughs> Jay Herbo, Jay Herbo, let Justin me, Herbert. Let me hear you, bro. Joey Franchise. No <laughs> Who are you taking? I mean, you made a very bold statement just now. So I, I, you said I you basically to defend my you basically too, uh, said Herbert won. So you are going with Herbert? So you're, I, are you taking Herbert, Drew? Now, I am taking Justin Herbert. I feel the difference between the two is Herbert has the better arm. He can make the big plays like Joe Burrow can. With his legs, he can make things happen with his legs. He's very mobile in the pocket. He just has a cannon attached to his arm. Take it easy there, kid. Sorry, I Take wasn't it expecting it attached there. to his arm. Right. It's cannon. So, Jesus cannon. Christ. That being said, this guy's arm is special. Wins yeah. games with his arm. Put them in a position week 18 against the Raiders with no time left on the clock. Threw an absolute perfect ball that looked like it was thrown at 100 miles an hour to Mike Williams. Perfect ball placement. Perfect throw with, with the supreme velocity. I don't know if Joe Burrow can make that throw. Now, Joe Burrow, like we said earlier in the show, is extremely poised in the pocket. And his big playability with his legs are what puts the Bengals in position to win games. He wins games. And I love to give credit for wins, no doubt. Especially when you're taking your team to potentially a Super Bowl. You could win the Super Bowl. It's That's a strong possibility. I just look at Herbert and he has everything I want in a quarterback. Reads the game very well. Does turn the ball over from time to time, but it's because of his confidence within his arm. And I've said it. I want confidence in a quarterback. If and I don't want a quarterback that thinks, oh, man, I shouldn't make this throw. But, but again, Joe Burrow, I'll give him that one. He definitely does not fear anything. He's not any less confident than what Herbert is. But Herbert can make more throws than what Burrow can, and I feel like that's the only difference for me. Statistically this year, Herbert clears. Basically every single stat aside from per, uh, completion percentage. But that also stems from... Joe Burrow's pocket collapsing and him needing to hit the quick check down. And that's not discrediting you him. Think, no, what, there's that, been, there's that, been a no, lot. Easy, no, before you say that no, to me, before you no, say that to me, you're not getting we watch that. a lot of film. <laughs> no, How many times did no, they hit Uzama no. on a five-yard curl? How many times while the pressure's collapsing? How many times? If I'm not mistaken, Joe Burrow has the most 20-plus yards play in the NFL this season. He does. Really? And he also has arguably the best deep threat wide receiver in the game. Okay. Arguably. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's got two great. Without a doubt. T. Higgins, who's unbelievable in his own right, and Jamar Chase, who Herbert has... Herbert got some weapons, too, though. Are they... Are either... Are they the, together, T. Higgins and Jamar Chase? Nope. Absolutely no chance. Mike Williams and Keenan Allen and Austin Eckler are closer to Jamar, Higgins, and Mixon than that Bengals offensive line is to that Chargers offensive line. My point about is about the that, completion That Chargers percentage. offensive line is top 10. My point is about the completion percentage. Okay, but I'm just saying, we just talk about weapons right now. Oh, but weapons right now, it's the offensive line, fine. But we're talking about T. Higgins and Jamar Chase with also Tyler Boyd, who gets left out of these conversations pretty often. Solid, a solid option. And Joe Mixon, who was just top five statistically in everything. So, weapons wise, I lean the Bengals without a doubt of mine. Okay, but then. Offensive line, mention that. I'm with you. Come on. Herbert definitely has the better offensive line. But, again, Herbert still can do the similar things with his legs that Burrow can. And he has a better arm. You're trying to make up. No. I'm You're not. trying to make up. <laughs> I'm not. You know what? I'm not. Uh-oh. What's he doing here? here there we go. He's, he's making <laughs> up. Why I can't put Burrow over Herbert, even though Burrow is... A game away from bringing home a ring yeah. is that I just think that Herbert's more talented than he is. 
I'll go because you just said a lot of you know interesting stuff. <laughs> First of all, he's I'm writing, not... He's writing his wrongs. I'm not trying to make up anything. I was wrong about the Bengals. Who wasn't? Yeah. Let's be honest. But Joe Burrow... You know, the rookie seasons, we I had this debate with Jack. He was right here. And I thought Justin Herbert was having the better rookie season. There's no doubt. At the time, that's what I thought. Justin Herbert is flat out phenomenal. But I've been a big Burrow fan. I have his LSU card. You want to know when I bought it? The day of the draft Tough. before, because I said, yo, this guy, this going to be worth a million dollars one day. That. That's Joe Shiesty yep. LSU rookie card. That card goes absolutely crazy. Joe Burrow is my guy. He's Joey franchise. I will say this. Card looks insane. Justin Herbert is the only quarterback in NFL history. To have 30 plus passing touchdowns in his first two seasons as a starter. People want to blame Herbert. Yeah, let them all look at the card real quick. Yeah, that's a very nice card. Joe Burrow, LSU. NFT it. I don't even know how I can do that. I don't think you can. We're not out on NFTs. Oh, and, and on NFTs. Yeah? yeah? All right. We don't stand with Drake and Kanye? Yeah. All right. A lot of people want to give Joe Burrow pushback. Because he didn't beat the Raiders. He had six straight fourth down conversions. What else can you ask from somebody? But you know what? Could ask a little bit more. How about Oh my God. (laughs) Oh my God. Listen listen to this. Listen to this. This is is Mr. It's a team game. Listen to this. Why couldn't you execute on first, second, or third down? Why every single How about your defense? Why everything is fourth and ten? Bro, you're unbelievable. Why is everything fourth and ten? You couldn't execute on first, second, or third down. So why is, it, why is it always, oh, it's a team game. We put too much blame it and praise on game. the quarterback. Oh, it but, but, but now it's only Justin Herbert's fault that they I were never, first, I, fourth when and When did long. I say that? When did I say that? I and never said it was Justin Herbert's fault. Winning isn't a quarterback bro. sack, correct? No, it's not. No, but quarterbacks have the biggest influence on winning. Which is... How many? You kill yo, me. You kill me. Bro. What are you You're talking about? Light. You're, You're me, seeing bro. the light. You're seeing the light. Listen, he's seeing it. Thing. You're screwed. I said it's not the Listen. You're screwed. Listen. 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 But it's important. Can I finish my point? Justin Herbert lost three of his last four <laughs> to the Texans. He should have won. Davis Mills outplayed him. Disgusted. Davis Mills outplayed him. Disgusted. He lost to the Raiders. He lost to the Chiefs. Listen, Justin Herbert lost to the Texans. Baltimore. New England, Minnesota, and they lost three of their last four. One of them was also to KC and the Raiders Week 18. Burrow beat KC twice. He dominated Baltimore twice. Not once, twice. Twice. When he's not a quarterback, why do I He beat this? Minnesota. Okay, it's not, but Joe Burrow threw 900 yards in his two matches versus the Ravens. Didn't the, the, the Ravens killed, had the number one offense. Didn't you the crucified the me about that. No, the Chargers got other killed around, by the Ravens. Other way around. Sorry, apologize. And Joe Burrow, he he was very firm against the Raiders. They beat the Raiders, a team that Justin Herbert couldn't get past Week 18. Herbert played a 10 out of 10 that game. This is the same Joe Burrow who lost to the Jets and almost lost to the Broncos. I don't care about that. Didn't they lose to the Bears? I don't care about that. Joe Burrow has two road playoff wins. He was sacked nine times versus Tennessee. That's tied for the most in a playoff game, and he won. A good quarterback that wins game. that game. He won that game. There is a reason why the Dolphins wanted to trade three first-round picks to move up to number one and draft Joe Burrow because he's Joey Franchise. And Joe Burrow is also the reason why the Bengals said hell no and hung up the phone. Obviously, I'm taking Joe Burrow over Justin Herbert. Their stats are similar. I think Joe Burrow is the smarter quarterback. He has more IQ. He came off a knee injury. He didn't even start feeling like himself until the middle of the season. He's the first quarterback drafted number one overall to take their team to the Super Bowl in his second season in NFL history. In the last three years of his life, he's won a Heisman Trophy. He's won a college football national championship. He's won AP Comeback Player of the Year. And he might win a Super Bowl. He's an AFC champion, that's for sure. 
And when you have quarterbacks that are as similar statistically as Burrow and Herbert, Burrow was the number one ranked quarterback according to PFF. That's when you take winning into account. Uh, whoa, whoa, that's what, what I said. No, no, which no. is what I said. I said uh, it's no, no, part no, no. of the puzzle. It's not number one, but it's part of the puzzle. What, what, what did you say when we had this Brady-Mahomes debate? You said, yo, when these two quarterbacks are this great, oh, man, you got to take the accolades, right? And I, We're I, talking about year two Burrow and year two Herbert versus Burst Brady 22 years in. And what and is Mahomes year two Burrow five. doing? He's in a Super Bowl. Okay, but bro, what more can you ask of the guy? Wait, Nothing, but no, still, bro, it's year two. I also, I don't want to let you off the hook. No, let me finish. Okay. Because I haven't finished okay. yet. Okay. When will it end? No, How good? I know where he's going. I know where he's going. How good is Ed Orgeron as a coach? He got fired from LSU. How good is Zach Taylor? Despite this season, he doesn't even have a winning record as a head coach. Those two coaches have something in common. They're both mediocre, and Joey Franchise, Joe Burrow, made him look great. We had this debate with Joe Burrow versus Lamar Jackson. I told you back in the regular season, Joe Burrow was better. You said, got to see it in the playoffs. Oh, well, he did it in the playoffs. I He's told doing you, it in the I playoffs. I told you he was going to be better than Lamar. I just need to see it come playoff time. Joe Burrow is only the third quarterback in NFL history to have multiple game-winning drives in a single postseason. The other two were Kurt Warner and Tom Brady. They both won the Super Bowl that season. Listen, man. As cliche as it sounds, Joe Burrow is a winner. He's taken a historically clowned on franchise that hasn't had any success in the last 31 years to three straight playoff wins and a Super Bowl appearance. You can't overlook that. Number one graded quarterback in PFF. With an abysmal offensive line. You can't overlook that. And his leadership quality, the cool factor. He is cool as sin. He is super cool. Joe Burrow, I'm taking him over Justin Herbert. Until Justin Herbert has success in the postseason, because of this Burrow run, we can't put him past Burrow just yet. You're right. Her- Herbert has more talent, for sure. The more talented quarterback isn't always the better one. All right, so then as to your logic, Josh Allen's not better than Mahomes. Mm, that's close. It, no, no, you said Allen's no. better. No, no, no. You said Allen was better than Mahomes. However, well, I said, off I your said, logic... I said 1A1. I said it's not clear-cut that Mahomes is the best. Off your logic... Until Herbert's done it, right? You, he can't be better than Burrow. Until Josh Allen has done it, he can't be better than Mahomes then. It's, it's that close. Legacy-wise, yeah. Like, resume-wise, yeah, absolutely. Mahomes is he clears so the, him. I thought the question was, who's better? No, the question is, who are you taking? I'm taking Burrow. I hate that. I'm taking Burrow. And I do think Burrow's better. I think he's better, too. Hot dog. I do think he's better, too. Wow. I'm stunned. Better? Yes. In what way? Explain to he me re- what I think he, he he reads defenses better. I'll give you that. He's an amazing reader of the field, no doubt. What else does he do better than him? Nothing. He's more accurate so than him. Though. The, Burrow was number one in completion percentage this year. Yes, so. he was. And I, again, I'm giving him his credit for that. Oh, my God. Listen, we know you're going to say Herbert. We know it. He has a better arm than him. The accuracy... Accuracy, you got to give it to Burrow. That's true. God. I don't know. There, this is the debate. So is this that? Is damn hold, near. hold on. Let me ask you: Matt Stafford or Joe Burrow? Who's better? Oof. Because Stafford has the arm. All the shit you're raving about. And he also has the accuracy. Okay. So who's better? Mm. I'm going Matty Staffy. Okay. I don't want to answer that question right now. Answer? No, 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 no. If I'm going on a limb and I'm answering, I need everyone to well, answer. I have to give my Herbert versus Burrow take first, bro. Give yours one, yeah. one at a sure. time. I just want to make sure you were done with your take before I. I'm done. I didn't, okay, I didn't I'm want. Done. I didn't want to interrupt I'm or anything done. because you were you were going on for a while there. This is very similar to the debate we had last week of Allen versus Mahomes, just a tear down from the two. Right. Oh, we just last week we talked about who played the better game. I thought it was also who's better. That nah. was. I think that was two. No, two, it was, was just two who's, weeks who's weeks who had the better game. Okay. We, oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. But I think we also got into debate who would you rather have. Probably. I mean, at at this point. But I see it very similarly. I don't think you could go wrong either way. 
both these quarterbacks are fantastic, just like Mahomes and Allen are. And these four quarterbacks are going to be running the NFL for the next 10 years. You hate to see they're all in the AFC. It's, it's honestly, it's heartbreaking, truthfully, because even if Zach reaches his peak, he's probably going to be the fifth best, which hurts. I don't know. In, the, in the AFC. Um, to get into it, though, this is a matter of talent versus X factor to me, right? Because to me, Herbert is is clearly... I shouldn't clear this kind of route, but to me, Herbert has more raw talent, a bigger arm. I think he's more mobile. I think he has more zip on the ball. I just think talent wise, Herbert has burrow cleared in just about everything you could, you could ask for in terms of arm talent, mobility, uh, strengths. I think, I mean, he was a 4.0 biology major. He's obviously smart, knows how to read defenses. So I think Herbert has more natural talents, but that's obviously doesn't mean everything. Right, Jamarcus Russell had some of the mo- best talent in the world, while Tom Brady, on the other hand, isn't the most talented quarterback, and he's the best quarterback ever. So just because you're more talented doesn't necessarily mean you're the best quarterback. And stats-wise, it is pretty damn close. Right, Herbert does have more yards, had some more touchdowns, but he also had a ton more attempts. They were a bit more of a pass-heavy offense. Brendan Staley's obviously a, a, a very aggressive guy who tends to throw the ball more often than not, and, and Joe Mixon... Uh, is more of a workhorse, I would say, than Austin Eckler is, who also gets a lot more passing work than, than Joe Mixon did, too. I really think the better question here is where do we rank these guys amongst all the quarterbacks? Because if you want to look at just these two, we could talk for hours about who's better, who has this going for him, that going for him, look at his weapons, his coaching, whatever you want to do. Personally, if I'm just starting a franchise right now, I'm still taking Herbert. And I know it's crazy to say because Joe Burrow is close to him. There is a small gap in terms of skill level, but I do think his, the way Joe Burrow carries himself and he has this like humble like arrogance about him. Like he's not arrogant, but he just has that it's like confidence. swagger to him. I was told at a young age, it's not cockiness, it's confidence. He just goes into the room. He look. He gives me that Joe Namath. Maybe it was just the uh, the the fur coat. But he gave me almost that Joe Namath vibe. He's just the coolest guy in the room, you know. And that goes a long way. Not only confidence in the football field, but other players and coaches notice that. And you know they're gonna, um, you know they're gonna go towards you because they think you're that guy. If you know you're that guy, then other players are gonna see that too. But man, it's just hard for me to look at what what Herbert did, who is a game away from the playoffs, put up 35 points at everything he possibly could, mm-hmm. and we're gonna have the next 10 years to have this debate. Yep. Um. And I know you talk a lot about Ed Ogeron and and Zach Taylor, but I don't know. Are we all sold on Brandon Staley or even uh, who's their coach last year? Um. Anthony Lynn. Anthony Lynn. Lynn. We're not sold on these guys as being great coaches either. I know at least Zach Taylor made it through his first season, but that's because it was his first year being the head coach more than anything, and it, was, it wasn't Anthony Lynn. So I don't think we're sold on either of these coaches. At least Zach Taylor is your offensive mind who's going to be with him for year after year. Um, but it wouldn't shock me if the Chargers ended up moving on. Um, I, I think it is a little silly to bring up the Ed Orgeron thing. It wasn't just Joe Burrow. They had the best offense of all time with Jeddahs and Jamar Chase and Clyde and, and, until Joe and, Burrow and, got and Terrence Marshall. Well, that's when also all these guys came, okay. bursted out to the scene. Okay, but Joe Burrow was a guy. He yeah, had no, the most historic taking, quarterback season ever. I'm not taking anything away from Burrow. But not. it's it, but the football's a team game. It's not just the quarterback. It's the schemes. It's the Sorry, defense. Kid, you, you it's did the this skill yourself. Let that go, bro. No, bro, because you've been... What do you let mean, let it go? You've been on it the no, whole stop year, it, bro. Yeah. Sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I can let you off the hook uh, on something. We, we can't, we, we can't go up a, here and give all the praise my, to the my quarterback. Arguments, what about schemes? My what about routes? be firm. In what bro, way? You, you're flip bro, flopping bro, right now. You do laps. You do laps. No, no, it's not. You flip flopping right now. No, it's not. Joe Burrow, his rookie season was on pace to have the same season as Justin Herbert. Had he not got hurt, it was literally a debate before Burrow got hurt. Who's the offensive rookie of yes. the year? It was so until Joe Burrow got hurt, they were neck and neck. They were having similar seasons. What's that to do with anything? That they have been similar quarterbacks. It's not like Justin Herbert has been far and away better than Burrow. They have been neck and neck. And Joe Burrow has now proved it on the biggest stage that he's big time. So that's the separate. Did Herbie not put? Showed that he was big time in the, the biggest, biggest stage is not week eighteen. It was a bro. playoff game. It's a pl- playoff. That was a playoff game. Joe Burrow's done it three times already. I'm he with you. The, hey, no, the, hey. the only if two it's coming off like I'm disrespecting Joe Burrow and, and trying to disregard the only everything two he's done, that's not what I'm trying to do. The only two quarterbacks that have beat Mahomes are Tom, Tom Brady and Joe Burrow, bro. In the playoffs, Joe Burrow beat him twice in the season. Mahomes beat himself. himself. Mahomes beat himself. Oh, really? Okay. And uh, well, Joe Burrow beat Mahomes? Are you serious? Joe Burrow beat Mahomes. You're he insane. had a game-winning drive. The Bengals what are you talking the about? 
The Bengals didn't beat the Chiefs. Oh, so Patrick Mahomes beat Josh You're Allen. You're right. The Bengals beat Pat- the Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes beat Josh Allen? <laughs> We Hold just up. had. We just bro, had. Oh Patrick my Mahomes. gosh! So bro, you're Josh doing it to yourself. No, you oh doing it to yourself. Bro. We just had an entire f- freaking segment about praising the Bengals defense. Did we just not? Yeah, I'm of, just course. Saying, of course. Of course, bro. Joe Burrow beat you Mahomes. said Joe Burrow beat Mahomes. You, said he beat you did, Mahomes. <sighs> bro. Pick a side, yes, bro. Which, which one is it? Okay. He did beat Mahomes. All right, then we're gonna run with that going forward. If I say. X quarterback beats X quarterback. You can't say nothing Shake about defense. No, 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 no. Hold, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold, hold up. I hear that, hold bro. Up. Hold up, bro. No. <laughs> what you're, nah, you're doing, crazy, bro. No. You're crazy, What you're bro. doing is different. You're crazy. No, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Bro, Let me explain. What? Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain, Kevin Hart. I almost just spit on my water. I almost just spit on my Listen, bro. Nah, you're getting too emotional. You got to let me talk no, right now. No, he's not. No, no, I'm yes, he you. is. I'm, yes, he I'm is. the judge here. I'm the judge here. I'm he's the third part. I'm telling no, you. No, bro, bro. I'm listen, sorry. You did it to talk, yourself. Can I, can I speak? No, no, no. First of all, where are your allegations stemming from? Why are you telling what? me that? How, no, no, no. how many months I, back do we have to go back? Get, no, 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 no. My first episode ever on the show. Just give That's me, probably when it just, started. Just give me just give me one example. One was the Mahomes versus Brady. Brady beat Mahomes. You said no. Okay. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's start there. Let's start there. Okay. My gripe with what you said was that Mahomes could never catch Brady. That was my gripe with what you said. You said it doesn't matter what Mahomes does. Yeah. Because he lost to Brady, he can't catch up to him. And you threw it out because I, you said it's a team. No, no, no. I said yes, that's exactly. I, I that. said this. I said I just don't. The summary of what I said. I just think it's silly to say Mahomes can't catch Brady just because he lost to him. Because you never know. Mahomes could rack up a, the similar Super Bowl wins and have statistically better numbers than him. So you don't know that. Okay. What about when I brought up Lamar, all of his stats, and I was like, oh, by the way, he's the most winning quarterback under twenty five in NFL history. You threw that out. You said, I don't care. The Ravens the, had a good the, team. They have the a good Joe, defense. In the Joe Burrow Tua, debate. Tua, all he does is win. You absolutely throw that away also. Look, let's not even mention Tua because I don't want to upset you even more. Um, the the more thing. Tua, Tua's not even in this conversation. We're talking about great quarterbacks right now. I'm just telling you, this guy wins. Well, we're talking about great quarterbacks right now. He is. Let, let's please. He's he Jimmy a, G. Let's pl- please. We're talking about great don't quarterbacks Don't insult right Tua now. like that, please. Don't insult him like that. You mentioned that Lamar stat when we had the Joe Burrow debate, right? Um... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like we just got off track with that one. I don't remember. Okay, what it was. you're right. Lamar is the most winningest quarterback. His rookie season, he went six and one or six and two, I believe. He wasn't a great passer that year. He wasn't asked to be it. I want to say only. Oh yeah. But okay. the difference with Lamar is that with Lamar, yeah, he's the most winningest quarterback. But we saw his first playoff appearance, fourteen and two, favorites by far against Tennessee, and they lose. His rookie season against the Chargers, I mean, they got embarrassed against the Chargers, quite frankly. It wasn't until his third year to where he finally won a playoff game and then lost the very next week. So, Second year like, starting. one in three record in the playoffs. And in this past year, statistically a down year all around. So, yeah, I said I think Burrow is better than Lamar because he's a better passer, and I'd rather take him going forward. The winning thing was all cool, but we saw Lamar in those big moments not perform at least or not win the game and he struggled as a passer it's just what it is i think in those some of those games he had he completed like 55 percent of his passes that's the difference herbert and burrow are in year two statistically they are the same this past year burrow was the first ranked quarterback according to pff and he's won three playoff games he has three game winning drives in these games yes the defense was phenomenal against kc burrow had a game winning drive bro you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, where's the, the Raiders? Defense stop Mahomes after we went on a whole debate last week about should the overtime rules get changed. The Bengals went out and said, "Look, Wait, the are Chiefs aren't the gone. We can stop them." The interception took them to what? Like the, the, the 40. 50, 40. He got like 30. That's still a game winning drive though. And, and Joe Mixon they won the game off that so, drive. Like, Come like on, man. no, that's it. Versus the Raiders, game winning drive. They had a game winning drive. Versus the Titans, they had a game winning drive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Burrow has these moments, bro. But, bro, you can't keep flip-flopping between it's not quarterback flip-flopping. versus quarterback versus team versus team. Which one is it? Bro, obviously, it's team versus okay. team. All right. But, but don't, don't bring up the... Oh, are the you Joe telling Burr me didn't. Are you telling me Herbert is in a far worse position than Joe Burrow? They're talent, in si- talent. very similar positions. Okay, and who is the one succeeding? All right, he does Burrow. not have Jamar Chase, T. Higgins. I don't and even, Joe Burrow I don't doesn't have a top 10 offensive line in the NFL. I don't even NFL. care about that. 
Herbert was one game away from making the playoffs, just like the Bengals were were made the playoffs. They they won, they won the division, division. To be bro, fair, about? To, in a very we're comparing the NFC North to the AFC West with the Kansas City Chiefs and the Steelers with Big Ben, Lamar who started, and the Browns who were the mess Bengals all season. finished this at, with the same record as the Chargers, bro. I mean, the Bengals finished with the yes. same record as the Chiefs, bro. It was a weak AFC this year for sure. But you look, Herbert could have been doing. He was Bro, a game away from the playoffs. They lost to the Texans. They lost a gimme game to the Texans. The the Bengals lost to the Bears. They lost to the Jets. Okay, but they made the playoffs. They, they won the. They, they, did. they won the I division. But just because it's one Guess bad what? game, like Guess what? Joe Burrow's rookie season. Baltimore and Pittsburgh embarrassed the Bengals. They beat the crap out of them. This year, what happened? Joe Burrow beat the crap out of them. He embarrassed I mean, Baltimore twice. Baltimore's, not just once, Baltimore's twice. Baltimore's is trash. It's not Not good. the first time they faced him. Not the first time they faced him. And statistically, he hasn't he been He dominated them. Since. He dominated them. He did. Sure. 900 yards, bro, in two amazing. games. Like, come on, bro. It's amazing. Let, let, come on, bro. And I'm not. No one's sitting here and trying to shit on Burrow, bro. No That's what nobody's doing. No, you're trying but to argue no. with the winning quarterback set. Yes. And I just gave you an explanation for all those moments, bro. But it's still nonsense. It's not it's nonsense. Still nonsense. It's How is just it nonsense? whatever fits your come narrative. On. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's not. A narrative it's just, thing, bro. it's the truth, bro. Nah, it's the truth. Nah, bro. I've huh. seen Lamar. Yeah, Lamar has the winning record, but I've seen him in the playoffs not perform. We're seeing Burrow. Lead his team to an AFC North title in his second season after a reconstructed knee, be statistically better than Herbert right. this past it's season, and win three playoff games in a he row. Was, he was graded and higher. The than Bengals he wasn't statistically better. Okay, than whatever. Him. And the and the Bengals and the Bengals were underdogs in two of their three playoff games, yeah, and they won. Been Come on, bro. They've been Come great. on, bro. They've Come been on, bro. Great. He has these moments. They've we been can't great, ignore that. But I'm not taking this one playoff run, just like I'm not taking one loss by Lamar okay. and being this is the narrative. Joe Burrow is going to be amazing forever and win multiple Super Bowls, and Lamar is never going to win another playoff game because of one bad series one bad playoff and, run and the stat and the, and the quarterback stat also came uh came up when he had when we had the debate for josh allen versus mahomes last week right yes. i said josh allen played better than mahomes and just because he lost i didn't think that mahomes played better i mean yeah mahomes the, won the game but i just thought josh allen played better you know i i just don't base quarterbacks off of the off of if they win or not isn't Burrow, this what we're talking about right now no, it's different. <laughs> Burrow is not just winning, bro. He's putting up fantastic performances and doing it. He's not Jimmy G. I, I think we've talked he's about not, his, his not playoff more, performances he, have been good, but they have not been backpacking They, they have them. been great, bro. They Tennessee, have been great. Tennessee, was that a great he had, performance? He had 240 and he got two. sacked nine times had, and still led him to a win. He had 240 Wait, on, and two against the he Raiders. He should have lost that game if Tannehill was at least a 7 out of 10. He had 240 and two against the Raiders. Solid game, not spectacular. Three hundred yards, zero touchdown interceptions against the Titans. Titans. Fine game, not crazy. And this game against the Chiefs, he had two fifty, two touchdowns and interception. He played. He played. I might two hundred fifty yards, two touchdowns and an interception isn't a great game. No, are you no. serious? What How is that not a great in? game? Great. Are you serious? What what are you serious? It's not nineteen eighty, bro. Two fifty, two touchdowns, interception is a, the most average stat line you could possibly get. Are you dead ass? That's thirty four <laughs> touchdowns, you, seventeen ass? interceptions, and like. 3,600 yards. That would be your that would be your season set if you average that your entire season. That's actually what he had this season. 257. Two, Aaron Rodgers averaged 250, 257 yards uh, passing yards per game. Okay. 